big movie mouth off on Xfinity. Utah On Demand Salt Lake Alternative. I'm Jeff Weiss from MSN Entertainment. And I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. Uh, we're sponsored by PC Laptops and we're here at Brewie Cinema Pub reviewing more movies. Today we're going to be reviewing Country Strong, which is the country mo movie drama starring Gwyneth Paltrow as a country sensation who is having her comeback after getting out of rehab and she finds two, uh, or her husband finds two up-and-comer stars for her comeback tour and she's going to be country strong. And they're played by, by the way, by Garrett Hedlund from Tron Legacy and TV star, and when I say star, I throw up the air quotes, Leighton Meester, who... <sighs> Kelly Cantor left rehab early this morning. You'll remember the country music star was arrested a few months ago for drunk and disorderly conduct. We can't wait to get on the road again. We can't wait for the tour to start. Kelly's feeling better than ever. She looks great, doesn't she, guys? Thank you so much. Silver Wayne. I want the ball to open for me. He's a singer. He's a good one. I've already got an opener for you. Child Stanton. Oh, She's gonna let this prom queen get up on stage. Patsy Cline played here. Why don't you come out on tour with us, Bo? Get out of these honky tonks and step into the big leagues. So you're gonna be opening for the Looney Tunes. They need to lock that one up and throw away the key. She's not crazy. One foot on the narrow way and one foot on the left. Charles, who is your idol? Kelly Kanner and Jesus Christ. You and Jesus Christ, who'd have thought? They love her. Do you think Charles Stanton is pretty? Oh, come on. What's going on? That's my son. It wasn't right for you. It was too, I don't know. Too good. Can we talk about how awful the girl is in it? There's a lot of awfulness in this movie. Tim McGraw's hairpiece also also, also You know, out of awful. all the actors, he's the one who didn't bug me the most. <laughs> and what's sad is that you've got Tim McGraw, who is a singer, and they don't even use him. Yes. And, it's, and on the other hand, they use Gwyneth Paltrow, who sounds like nails across a chalkboard, and Garrett Hedlund. Her voice is not made for country music. She can sing, but her voice is not made for country music. I don't music. even think she can sing. And, I, I don't. And, I, Ger and Garrett Hedlund, who I know you liked him in Tron Legacy, but you know what I don't need to see Garrett Hedlund do is sing a country song using the white man overbite. No one, no one should ever be seen singing a song. <laughs> Bad look. Even country stars wouldn't do that. No, the what was funny about the performances of this is I don't think anybody knew how they had no stage presence. You know, they might have screen presence, but when they're on stage with their acoustic guitar and rocking out in their cowboy boots. And by the way, Gwyneth Cal Paltrow can't play guitar and <laughs> what, obviously watch her fake fretting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, but you don't play them, guitar like that. I don't care if you're playing rock band. None of them knew what to do. And yeah. that's poor direction, in my opinion, because you could be like, watch some Garth Brooks shows. I don't know, I don't know, listen to countries. Garth Brooks even still around, who knows? But give them something to do. They're all sitting there like, with the most confused looks on their faces, going, um, next line. And so I just sit there going, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. And, and oh, the, the drama is so stereotypical. Yes. Like, I, 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 there's so many things I want to say, but we just ruin the film. If you actually wanted to go see it, don't. No, the but, acting and the bad directing and the writing ruin the film. Oh, yeah. But there's just, it's, it was so just simplified of, of a drama. Like, I've just, like, seen that before, seen that before, yes. seen that before. If I can, Here comes this part. If I can use a touching stone, there are two versions of a film called A Star is Born. Yeah. This reminded me of the Barbara Streisand version, except worse. If I could nickname Country Strong, it would be A Star Is Bored, or <laughs> I Was, by the bad performances, bad country music. Yeah. Uh, it is seriously the longest commercial for the most boring soundtrack you've ever heard. Yes, and it's funny you bring that up because my suggestion was for Burlesque, as you might remember, the music was fine. Yeah. Christina Aguilera can sing like nobody's business. I didn't like the film, but I... The music entertained you. Yes, people might want to buy that soundtrack you won't want to buy the soundtrack for Country Strong because it sucks almost as bad as the movie. I'll be, and I'll be quite honest, I do not like country music. I'm not a country music fan. I don't like it. So I kind of go in there going, okay, impress me. Like that. Right. Well, yeah, and we're starting at a lower rate because that's just how, you know, sorry, that's who I am. And, yeah, there were, but, but, and what made me mad is there was reviews coming out before that we had seen the film and said, you don't even have to like country music to like Country Strong. 
Uh, yeah, you do. And in fact, you must love country music to like it, or even to remotely like it. <laughs> no, here's how much. I like old country music. I like alt country. Country Strong made me find my old country and alt country and put it in my iPod and in my car stereo so I could wash the taste of Country Strong out of my mouth. In a shower, just scrubbing off. Yes, steel, <laughs> steel wool shower. It was the shower of shame. He's a cheese grater. One star. One star. I hated it. You know what? Combined, we'll make it two stars. We'll both give it one star. Oh, terrible, terrible. Gwyneth Paltrow, you owe me. You owe me. You don't owe me anything. Leave me alone. <laughs> make another Iron Man movie. Stop and make it singing. Uh, please. 